gift gave them too many sweets this morning Whew. guys this is the final episode of the fruit of the spirit I hope you guys have been learning something and enjoying and I'm gonna ask the kids here this morning what they've been learning about the fruit of the spirit okay Elaine what have you learned about the fruit of the spirit I learned that you should always be patient patience is a fruit of the spirit Samara Peace, guys, you're getting this. Patience, peace. Nikki. You should be kind. Kind. Who's next? Who's going to go next? Jonathan? Love. Love. Joy. Joy. Keith. Self-control. Self-control. That's today's lesson. Self-control. Faithfulness. Mukundi says faithfulness. That's amazing. And finally. Gentleness. Gentleness. Did you guys remember Sekuru Moses last week? He was so gentle, was he? Or was he not? Boys and girls, fruit of the spirit, so important. All right, and before we do anything else, I'm gonna ask Elaine to come pray for us, okay? All right, you guys ready to pray? You're gonna close your eyes? All right, okay, let's pray, Elaine. Thank you, Jesus, that 
that we have a great day. Thank you that thank you that we bless you and tomorrow is also a great day. Thank you that we're always kind and we be good to each other. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. And everybody says Alright guys, so this is what's been happening. We've been playing the games boys versus girls. Oh. Do you guys want to know what the score is? No. You want to know? Yes, give me a few. Yes. All right. Girls, wait, let's, wait, 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 wait. let's say the score. Girls, in this series, you guys have five points. That's right, lady. Only five. And the boys have? the boys have won the game. So this means that somebody is getting pie in the face. Pie in the face. And for today's pie in the face, we have chosen a leader to get a pie in the face. Do you want to know who the leader is? Alright everyone, I want you to say, I'm going Leon! I'm going Leon! I'm going Leon! I'm going Leon! Okay, Uncle Leon, get down on your knees. So boys and girls at home, we chose Uncle Leon because he's been supporting the girls. And girls, you guys let down Uncle Leon. You were supporting you, was believing you, but you guys lost the game. So today we're gonna get Uncle Leon's brother, Ivan, to do the honors. All right, are we ready? We're gonna count down together, guys. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Pie Oh no! Uncle Leon, thank you so much. Thank you so much for taking one for the girl. And guess what? This morning, listen, everyone. This morning we're starting a brand new game series, it's Boys vs. Girls, who's gonna win? <laughs> so the moral of the story guys, boys and girls, is don't lose the games. Because if you lose the games, guess what happens? Fire in the face! So I'm here with Jonathan and Samara. It's boys vs. Girls, we're starting a brand new game series, okay? Remember what you said, if you lose, Okay, so we're playing a really cool game today. Samara, Jonathan, all right, hear the rules, okay? The game is called Silent Ping Pong. So, Jonathan, you have to sneak, sneak, pick up a ping pong, and then you have to throw it in there, all right? So for everyone you get in there, you get one point. But if you get hit with this big stick, it's minus one, all right? Are we ready? You got it. Can we do this, Jonathan? Yes. To the Samara! Yes! But don't hit hard. Okay, no hard hitting. Alright, are we ready? Alright, I'm gonna come stand this side. Three, two, one, go! It's minus one, minus two. Come on, quickly, you got 40 seconds. Come on, Jonathan. Jonathan, go! Go! Just get one! Just one! Samara, don't hit me hard! Three! Minus three! Come on, Jonathan! Just get one! Just one! How much time left? Oh no! Five! Four! Three! Two! One! Zero! Oh. Jonathan! Wow, Samara was swinging that hard, right? Oh man, so you got minus three. Sheesh, guys, do you know what minus three is? It's like zero and then. Okay, <laughs> boys at minus three. It's now Samara's turn. Go, well, Samara, it's your turn. Jonathan is blindfolded. All right, it's your turn. All you need to do, Samara, is get one. If you get one, <laughs> go take a nap because you've won the game. Okay? Very simple. Let's do this, my girl. All right, in three. Two, one, action. Oh, Samara, you can take it 
that now. Minus one, take a left. Minus three, minus three. But you got three balls in there. Okay, you lost your stick. There's your stick, there's your stick. How much time is left? How much time is left? Oh, tomorrow is doing really well. Jonathan, hit, hit, hit. Come on. Oh, man. Five, four, three, two. Sit down, Jonathan, you have to sit down. Sit down. Two, one, zero. Boys and girls, do I really need to count these? Because clearly, the girls won! Boys and girls, and the boys. The boys lost. Oh, I'm so sorry, boys. But I know next week, you guys can do better. All right? And remember I always say, boys and girls, that today's episode is going to be a fire episode. I'm going to be with Fireman Bob, and we are talking about self-control. See you later. Fireman Bob, haha, <laughs> looks like I'm gonna smoke you in this game. <laughs> Get it? See what I did there? Smoke you. Fireman Bob, I'm gonna no. win. I'm going to win. No! Yes! Oh man, I hate losing! Boys and girls, Fireman Bob, what are you doing? Why are you, why are you so angry? You keep on winning! Yeah, because I'm the best, right? Oh man! But, but, but Fireman Bob, why are you so angry? You shouldn't be so That's not good. I haven't won today. You have, we won every game. Fireman Bob, do you remember when we did the lesson intro for today? Do you remember that? Ye yes, I do. The kids were out of control. They were going crazy. And now you are going crazy. That's not good. But no, wait. Who wants to lose? It's, it's not about losing. Right, let's start again. Let's, let's, let me remind you of what the lesson is today. The lesson today, Fireman Bob, is called what? Uh, uh, self-love. Self self-love? No, boys and girls, are we talking about self-love? I don't even know what that means. The lesson today, Fireman Bobby, is self-control. Do you know what it means? Can you want to tell the boys and girls what self-control is? Uh, uh, controlling my, myself when I'm driving the fire truck? What? Boys and girls, is that what self-control means? Mm, no, that's not what self-control means, all right? What does it mean then? All right, let me, let, let me give you an example, okay? All right, all right. So, Fireman Bob, you are at the fire station and you're taking a nap. And then the alarm goes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that a fire? Yes, it is a fire. So what do you do? What I, do you do when there's a fire? I jumped in my fire truck. You jump in your fire truck, but did you carry everything you need in your fire truck? No. No. Fireman Bob, did you forget this? Ah. Ah. What is this, Fireman oh, Bob? Oh, my extinguisher. Your extinguisher, exactly. And what do we use this for? To put out the fire. To put out fire. And you know what? And this is exactly what we're talking about. Fireman Bob, boys and girls, needs a fire extinguisher to control the fire. So, we've been talking about the fruit of the Spirit. Remember that, Fireman Bob? Yes, yes. So, we need the Holy Spirit to help us control everything around us, including the anger that you showed oh. just now, Fireman Bob. Do you get it now? I do get it You now. do get it. So we need the Holy Spirit to help us with self-control. And you know what we're going to do now, Fireman Bob? Yes. Before we... I was going to spray with this, but I won't. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to watch a video. I love watching videos. Oh, me too. Boys and girls, I hope you love watching videos. Let's watch this video. It's time for a Bible story. Long ago in the land of Israel, a little baby boy was born. Aw, look at that cute little guy. But this was a very special baby. God had big plans for him. His name was... S wait, 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 let me guess, let me guess. Okay, it starts with an S. Uh, swimmy, slippy, slappy, S Samsonite, uh, Swanson. That's it. Okay, let me just tell you. The baby's name was Samson. Ha! Huh. I was way off. After Samson was born, an angel appeared to his mother and gave her a very important message. God was going to use Samson to do some amazing things, but there were a few rules that he would have to follow. Oh, I got these covered. Here we go. Rule number one, don't walk on the grass. No. Rule number two, don't wear black without the blue. 
No. Rule number three, don't drink orange juice right after you brush your teeth. No. Okay, actually, that last one is pretty good advice. But no, those were not the rules that Samson would have to follow. First of all, he wasn't able to eat any unclean food. Wait, what do you mean unclean food? Like he had to wash all of his food in the sink? Gross. Get ready for some soggy sandwiches, buddy. No, unclean food back then meant things like pork. Whoa, wait a minute. Pork? Isn't that where bacon comes from? Uh, yeah. He couldn't eat bacon? What did he eat for breakfast or, or lunch or dinner? If I couldn't eat bacon, I would starve. Wait, why do you eat bacon for every meal? Uh, because America. Okay, well, it really wasn't that big of a deal. He just had to keep a certain diet. More like die it, as in he died from being hungry and sad. Okay, cut it out. That wasn't the only rule, and the next one's even more interesting. Samson was never allowed to cut his hair. As Samson grew up, his hair grew longer and longer and longer, but he obeyed the rule and never, ever cut it. Really? Not even a trim? Like, just the loose ends? Nope. Well, at least he could, like, style it however he wanted, right? Uh, I guess so. Oh, man, I bet his hairdresser had some fun with that. You could give him one of these. Um... Or the ultimate mohawk. Well... The hammerhead. The name tag. The Leia. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. I'm sure he just kept it straight and let it grow out like a normal person. Yeah, that's a good look. Nice do, Fabio. So, hold on a second. Why exactly does he have to follow these rules? Right. God gave Samson a very special gift. Super strength. Nice. At that time, the people of Israel were being ruled by some really wicked dudes called the Philistines. God wanted to use Samson as a mighty warrior that would lead his people, so God gave him incredible superhuman strength. Like, how strong are we talking? As strong as me? Uh, way stronger. I don't know. I can pick up a whole gallon of milk over my head. All right, get this. One time Samson was walking along in the desert and out of nowhere a giant ferocious lion attacked him. Yikes, that's probably the end of the story, huh? Bye bye Samson. Nope, Samson grabbed a hold of the lion and tore it to pieces. Whoa, that's crazy. Give me another one. All right, Samson was trapped in a city by some Philistine soldiers. They locked the huge metal gate and were going to ambush him. But that was no problem for Samson. He just ripped the gates off the city walls and carried them away. Dude, now that's an exit. Bye, Felicia. Hit me again. Okay, one more. Another time, Samson was surrounded by a thousand Philistine soldiers. They all had swords and shields and spears, and all he had was a jawbone from a donkey he found on the ground. Yowza. Looks like that's all she wrote. We'll miss you, big guy. Not so fast. The Philistines charged, but Samson fought back and totally wiped them out. What? He killed a thousand soldiers with a donkey's jawbone? Yep. Man, he really does have some crazy, mega awesome super strength. He could probably do whatever he wanted. Throw a baseball around the earth, arm wrestle a bunch of bears, bench press the pyramids. But remember, he would only have that power if he followed those rules. Ah, that's right. No snippy, no piggy. So what happens next? Does he like save the day and rescue the people of Israel? Not exactly. For years, Samson followed the instructions that God gave him and was a great, strong leader. But after a while, he got a little careless with who he was spending his time with. He met a woman named Delilah, but he shouldn't have been hanging out with her. Why not? Was she smelly? Close talker? No, Delilah was actually a Philistine. Eesh, aren't they like the enemy of the people of Israel? What gives, Sammy? Samson spent a lot of time with Delilah and eventually fell in love with her. Ah, what are you doing, Samson? Come on, man! Samson was getting closer to Delilah and turning further away from God. He even started breaking some of the rules God had given him. But the last one he still kept was his hair. Okay, good. Still have the super strength. Yeah, for now. The Philistines came up with the plan to capture Samson, but first they'd have to find out his secret. They made a deal with Delilah to find out what made Samson so strong, and she agreed to help them. What? I knew she was no good. That girl is poison. No kidding. Night after night, Delilah begged Samson to tell her the secret to his super strength. And he held out for a while, but eventually she wore him down and he told her his secret. That if his hair was cut, his strength would disappear. No, Samson, how could you? Late that night when he was sleeping, Delilah quietly cut off all Samson's hair. Philistine soldiers rushed in the room and Samson sprang to his feet, expecting to fight them off like he had many times before. 
but this time was different. Oh, something's different, all right. Run for it, Goldberg! He tried to run and fight, but his strength was gone. The Philistine soldiers laughed as they tied him up, carried him away, and kept him as a prisoner for the rest of his life. Man, that totally stinks. He had, like, so much going for him. What happened? I'll tell you what happened. Samson didn't pick his friends very well. If he had surrounded himself with the right kind of friends, they could have helped him see that he was getting into trouble. Picking the right kind of friends will help you grow. But just like Samson, the wrong kind can destroy you. Got it. Oh, I gotta go. It's about that time. What time? It's bacon 30. You gotta go heat up the stove. I'm coming, piggies! Ah, <laughs> the end. Oh, 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 Uncle Gift? Yes, yes, Fireman Bob. Oh, I want to tell you something. Yes, uh, yes, Fireman Bob. Did you enjoy that video? Oh, it was scary. What do you mean it was scary? Uh, I, I have a girlfriend, Uncle Gift. You have a girlfriend? Mm, and I'm... guess what? Yeah? Her name is Delilah. Delilah! Oh. You mean just like the video we watched? Uh, your girlfriend's name is Delilah. Delilah, Uncle Gift. Okay, now, I, I, I don't know what to do. I don't what want to date her anymore. Uh, Fireman Bob, look, I'm sure Delilah is a nice person. Uh, are you sure? Well, uh, look, I haven't met her, but I'm sure your Delilah is a nice person. But the Delilah we watched in the video, mm -mm -mm, we learned in that Bible lesson that she was not a nice person. She was not. She was not. How could she do that? Exactly. But you know what? Let's leave Delilah for a second and let's talk about Samson. Samson did not have self-control. Yes, he did. No, Fireman Bob, he did not have self-control. I mean, what do you mean he did? Because he controlled the crowds. He, he did everything using his power. Did we watch the same video? Boys and girls, let me tell you the story. Samson did have power and Samson could do a lot of things. But do you know what, uh, uh, Fireman Bob? What? He didn't have self-control to choose the right friends. Oh. Right. And because of that, all those terrible things happened to him. He went to jail. People treated him badly. Do you know why? Because he did not have self-control. Now I get it. Now you get it. So remember when you got angry at, at, at the start of this lesson? Yes. Yeah. Right. We need to ask God. We need to ask the Holy Spirit to give us the fruit of self-control. Oh. Right, because when we don't have self-control, we can get really <laughs> angry, or we can do things that we shouldn't do, we'll have friends that we shouldn't have. What else What else can we do for uh, self-control, Fireman Bob? Uh, maybe get rid of Delilah? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> get rid of Delilah. But boys and girls, I hope you are learning. It's so important for us to have self-control. And in our memory verse today, in Proverbs 16, verse 32, all right, Fireman Bob, I'm going to read it. You going to read it with me? Yes. Okay, it says, better a patient person. Better a patient person? Than a warrior. <sighs> the second part of that verse says that better is one with self-control. Better is one with self-control. Than one who takes a city. Than one who takes a city. And there's actually another verse that says that he who lacks self-control is like a city without a wall. Do you know what that means, Fireman Bobista? No, not at all. It's like, now imagine this boys and girls, it's like living in a house without a door, without a gate. That's not cool. Without a wall. Can you imagine that? It means all the bad guys can just walk into your house and just give you a punch, Aww. and a clap, Pah. Do you know what? What boys, are you doing? But if we have self-control, Fireman Bob, all right, we can put a wall around our heart. Stop crying, okay? I didn't hit you that hard, okay? That's not nice. I know it's not nice. But if you don't have self-control, the bad guys will come and you're going to cry and say that's not nice. But when we have self-control, Fireman Bob, right, we put that wall around their heart. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that's amazing. It is amazing. But stop crying. Please don't, don't cry. Hello, oh, oh, stop crying. No, it's okay. I'm going to give them a cry. No, I'm not okay. crying. I'm just kidding, boys and girls. I'm not crying. He may be crying. But you know what we can do now, Fireman Bob? Yes. I think we need to pray for the boys and girls. Okay? Do you know what we're going to pray for? We're going to pray for them to have the Holy Spirit in their lives. 
because if we have the Holy Spirit, we have the fruit of the Spirit in our lives. Okay? Yeah. So, Fireman Bob, do you remember the fruits of the Spirit? We had love. Come on, Fireman Bob, we had peace. Peace. We had patience. Patience. Fireman oh, Bob. Yes, Boys patience. and girls, can patience. you help Fireman Bob? Patience. We had kindness. We had gentleness and we had self-love. No, not self-love, self-control. We had faithfulness. So many fruits of the Spirit that the Holy Spirit gives us. So, boys and girls, I want you to bow your heads, okay? Fam and Bob, stretch out your hand. Stretch, stretch, okay? All right, so we're going to pray for the boys and girls at home. So, Heavenly Father, pray after me. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, I thank you. I thank you for the Holy Spirit. For the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. I ask you. I ask you to come into my heart. To come into my heart. And be my friend. And be my friend. And I thank you. And I thank you for all the fruit. For all the fruit of the Spirit. Of the Spirit. Love. Love. Joy. Joy. Kindness. Kindness. Faithfulness. Faithfulness. Peace. Peace. Gentleness. Gentleness. Self control. Self control. Is there another one? I don't know, I may have missed one. And boys and girls, we pray all this in the loving name of Jesus and everyone says, Amen. Amen. Now, Fireman Bob, I need to meet this Delilah. Are you gonna introduce me? Um, Chef Shiri invited me to his restaurant, so I think let's do it this Saturday. All right, boys and girls, listen, you guys remember the fruit of the spirit? I'm gonna go with Fireman Bob and we're gonna meet Delilah. Bye! Bye.